I wanted yeah, to work yeah. at McDonald's, and I did. I uh-huh. ended up having like that dream come true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. Because uh, you used to make like if you had like Play-Doh and stuff, you'd sure. make Play-Doh stuff, and yeah, you know, do things like that. Mm-hmm. Learning how to bag a customer's order, touring the kitchen, preparing the chicken nuggets, Greg Ooh. serving ice cream in a cone wow. or a cup. That actually, you know, have you ever gone to like a buffet and they have a soft serve machine? I'm yes. really good at it. Are you? See, yeah. I'm, I'm actually not that good. I make wow. these super tall soft serve yeah. cones. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I put it, toppings on it without but spilling. It's a skill. But I learned that when I worked at McDonald's. Uh, so they, yeah. It's it's the proper wrist technique. You went to mm. soft serve you? Yeah, I did. Well, you feel it's what you really want to do. They, what they want you to do when you work at a place like this. They don't want you to fill the bottom of the cake cone. Oh, they want you weak. just to right along the uh, the the, the oh, big like, rim of the, the top. top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just have it go there. No, I start weak. right. Have it go all the way down to the very yeah, bottom of that cake cone. Do it. Yeah, and then you once build it gets a to the foundation. Top, you can still build a foundation. They teach you to do it a different way because you know you give the customer less ice cream. Right. Yeah, exactly. But then you okay. have to have that perfect where it builds, almost like when the, you go to the Benihana and they take the onion layers, they put them upside down to make the volcano. Mm-hmm. Right. As the kind of that's why how you want to kind of build that ice cream out. Yeah. So you learn how to do that. Also, uh, how to be the Chick Fil A mascot, and the parents they're paying for their kids to do this thirty five dollars per day, which includes a meal, a snack, a T shirt, and a Chick Fil A name tag. Okay. Nice. Now, some people are not Bad. happy about this. They try to get it shut down, saying that, you know, this is cringy. You're exploiting these kids. Shut up. But, man, is it popular? <laughs> the camps, they're scheduled for next month. There was over 150 spots. They sold out immediately. Wow. <laughs> All these people wanting to be exploited and paying for it. How yeah. dare they? Again, if I was a kid, I would think that's pretty fun. Mm-hmm. It'd be yeah. a fun way to spend a day. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? And you get to... Get a meal. You get a T-shirt. Right. They would love it. Yeah, get to hang out and eat chicken nuggets and ice cream. I doubt any kids being forced to go. Exactly. Like, you will do this. <laughs> okay, right? now, a couple gift ideas if anybody's shopping for Menace. All right. So instead of a briefcase, he's never going to use that. Right. No. But he can walk around carrying a snackle box. Oh. Okay. Have you seen this yet? <laughs> no. Okay, I've, so you take a regular tackle box. I've heard of that. And you fill it with snacks. <laughs> oh, I just would so yeah. do this. Here, here's what it looks like, Vaughn, if you want to show everybody on the oh, camera. Wow. That is awesome. Uh, so you take that regular tackle box. Oh, and Because it's already got the built-in dividers and stuff. And the idea mm. Makes uh, sense. went viral a couple of years ago. But for whatever reason, it seems to pop up again it, every summer. It really has. Wow. Been. They... They sell official stackle boxes they on do. Amazon. They do. On Amazon, they do. Yeah. But Man. you can also just buy, you know, just a regular tackle box and fill it with food. <laughs> a snackle <laughs> box. Yes, yeah, so this one's got like uh, cheese it's It looks like some goldfish oh, crackers, yeah. some gummy bears. There's a little charcuterie on the top yeah, there. Oh, uh, yeah. Total charcuterie. Meats and cheeses and pretzels. Mm. On the bottom there, some vegetables. And fruit. And some fruit. Grapes. Some grapes. Oh. And apples. apple slice. Right. Nice. Yeah. That Sandwiches looks nice. and stuff. Have a dessert. Me that like looks you. nice. Oh, I could see you carrying that mm. around with you. Oh, this one has a handle. Yeah. Nice. And then uh, how about something else here for Menace, in case you're uh, looking for something? OJ's longtime lawyer uh-huh. just filed new documents seeking permission to sell certain items that were in OJ's possession at the time of his death. All right. And uh, he's doing this because, you know, you might have heard OJ still owes some debts. Yes. That, a few. Uh, that it needs to pay off. Is the glove for sale? No. Oh. <laughs> the glove. I don't think they're selling the glove. <laughs> okay. I think they got rid of that. Yeah. It's probably What's, like innocuous personal yeah. items. Like, who cares? Yeah. Isn't there like a serial killer museum? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, haunted museum. That's I, Vegas, right? I yeah, believe Brett, it is. You go there all the time. Yeah, Brett. The, you, What's you've the been there? official name of it? The uh, the serial killer museum or the, the haunted museum? Is he even in there? Is he in there? He might yeah, not, I don't see him in he there. He might not be there. But, but yeah, he loves that place. Uh, Where they mm-hmm. have like Gacy paintings and stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of gay. Get <laughs> back to the whole thing where I was saying the uh, Chick Fil A camp, mm-hmm. and I said, "Oh, when you were a kid, you had Play Doh and you do whatever." Mm-hmm. Uh, Play Doh is effing gay, Woody says the. Uh, oh, oh okay. not when you're oh, okay. a kid. Oh, and you're making French fries. Yeah, not when you're a kid. Who's, when you're a kid, who's it's playing cool. with Play Doh now yeah. as an adult. I don't know. There, are, there might be some uh, some offices that offer it as like a stress relief. Oh, could be. Oh, here we'll have a little Play Doh station. <laughs> you're right. No, you're there's, right. there's Bort. So, Bort, have you been to the, uh, have you been to, like, the uh, serial killer, what's it called? Serial, is it the serial? Museum of Death or something Museum like that? of Death. Oh, uh, there's the Museum of Death, and then Zach Bagan's Haunted Museum has a whole serial killer room as well. Nice. Um, so, I've been to a couple of those, yeah. Yeah, they're they're pretty intense. Really? Yeah. So, like, that I mean, might I'm be a, the, the place for, like, uh, the OJ Glover. Mm. Oh, yeah, I mean. Although, you know, it wasn't convicted, guys. 
Right. Yeah. Well, actually, if you go to the Zach Bagans Haunted Museum in Las Vegas, beautiful place, you should check it out. They do have stuff from Charlie Manson, OJ, hmm. um, Kevorkian's oh, they do have in OJ there. Stuff. They have tons of stuff in there. Does huh. it feel dark when you go because oh, of the yeah. energy How's of the all lighting? the stuff? <laughs> oh, lighting <laughs> bag? I mean, the fact that you see like stuff from Dahmer all over the wall yeah. and it matches oh, like, with Dorcha Ramirez's is um, jail cell uniform. Like it's it's That's pretty cool. dark. Yeah. Like the Dahmer wow. glasses. Yeah. Yeah. How did they the, acquire that stuff? Probably buy oh, it. Audit. Museum yeah. of Death is in Hollywood. Yes. Yeah. And then the uh, the other ones in Vegas that yes. you okay just want to make sure we have those. Uh, is that the one where the haunted doll is Annabelle? Is uh, it Annabelle? I think not mm. Annabelle, but yeah, one but of the one of the other ones is there. Okay, yeah. All right, so check it. If you're looking for like a fun family trip, yeah, yeah, <laughs> bring the kids, Get the kids, yeah. and go check out the Museum of Death. <laughs>